Hello everyone, this is RC from RC's Kanta and today we're going to review the FG Shard Zaka 2 and the FG Zaka 2 So, uh, the, the, these kits are were released in uh, 1999 and 2000 This was made in 2000, 1999 This was in 2000 when the FG started rolling when seed was announced and stuff so yeah it was a start it was the start of first wave cycling so for our accessories we have Zaku machine gun I scrap built a bazooka for my Sharzaku to make it uh, to make it look better than the uh, Zaku 2 because it's Char and I want Char to be special so yes yeah, so we got that and then we have that's it that's it we don't have any, any more accessories so uh, for the lens for the stickers I there's no stickers but I bought an aftermarket stickers for these guns for these machine guns uh, and for the mono eye, so and for articulation or yeah let's go with articulation first the head can go side to side and all the way around it's a little bit stiff on mine because of the top coat the shoulder shield can then swivel up can go up and down all the way around actually and then for the arms or the shoulders, you can go side to side uh, like that. For the other one, it isn't uh, really going up beyond that because it's it is its uh, design. For the shoulder, uh, I mean like the upper arm, you can swivel all the way around. The elbow can go. A little bit more than it usually is. I did a minor notification where I cut the I cut some some parts, so it did go well. So no, yeah. So no articulation in the waist. Uh, the legs can go side to side, up and down, side to side. Uh, the whole waist can tilt. Because it's on a uh, uh, pick, so, uh, it allows the leg to move forward a little bit. I think uh, so. Yeah. For the knee, knee joint can go, uh, let's say, a little bit uh, near 90 degrees. The ankle joint can go from here to there. So for seam lines, I guess we have the normal seam line for a Zaku. For the HGU's Zaku, not the revived version from the from recently, but from the first uh, HGU's Zaku from 2000 something, I think. So we have the the legs, uh, the side of the. The lower legs and then uh, uh, the foot so yeah and then uh, the middle of the head uh, side of the torso uh, the shoulder shield uh, the shoulder spikes the upper arm and the lower arm <laughs> Same on the other side, so it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, fine, so it's okay, it's okay for me, it's okay because this is a cheap, a cheap alternative for Azaku because currently here in the Philippines, Azaku is about 900 pesos including the old 2000, 2000 something kit. The original HUC, the first one before the revive. Mm, uh, 
for you to get a cheaper if you want something cheaper I recommend you get something second hand or pre-loved if you if you, uh, you know if you like it because it's it's very pricey especially uh, the Zaku it only comes in a it only has a basic product which is the bazooka the machine gun the axe and then the main kit so i don't really get why they sh they make the price go up why they the prices go up that high because when you search it up on hlj i think it's only 400 or 500 pesos so i don't really know why the price prices go up that high but if you really want a cheap alternative i recommend you check some pre-love <laughs> stores or pre on stores that sell these because in shopee there's a lot but i, I don't recommend you using lazada because they uh they ensure they they make sure that their customers uh get brand new stuff and stuff and, sh and yeah so i don't recommend you using Lazada, but I do recommend you using Shopee because in Shopee they have a lot of discounts and it's very user friendly and like Lazada it's very easy to use vouchers in Shopee and like Lazada so I really recommend you going to Shopee rather than Lazada and in Lazada they, they are uh, they do not allow real love stuff sometimes so I do recommend you going to Shopee and then get go some, go to some store go to some online shop find some pre-loved stuff so that's the cheapest alternative in getting a zaku or just buying these but we are currently sold out the fd zaku juice so your only choice is to get a second hand or pre-loved zaku so if you actually Buy, buy the FG Zaku 2 from a reseller the price the prices are double or two times because this I got this for 250 and that in the seller I, I saw selling these are, some are selling these for 300 which is, a, which is a reasonable price and it's an approved for me it's a good uh, it's a, approved for me so and then some stores uh, I, they sell these for 550 which is two two of these yeah. so and the, but then the price is two of these which is 550 but you only get one so the price is doubled up so. yeah I think your be better best choice is getting a pre-love kit or just getting the base Zaku Phantom if you are really desperate and desperate and getting a Zaku kit like me. So that's all for this review. I hope you check out my other videos, especially I post fewer videos now because currently I'm I'm really busy at school. So I really appreciate everyone that's been supporting me. I know I have not been posting videos but then a few people view my video so I guess it's still okay so thank you for watching video for watching this review and I'll see you in the next one face in your face.